kind of been saying it all along since we announced the Inspiration4 mission that, you know, the stars have continued to align for us every step of the way and have continued to do so here with our crew. The Inspiration4 mission is the brainchild of Jared Isaacman, the 38-year-old billionaire CEO of Shift4 Payments, an online payment company. Isaacman bought all four seats on a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft with the intention of flying an all-civilian crew, both to help democratize space travel, opening it up to non-professional astronauts, and to raise funds and awareness for the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Other civilians have been in space before, including Bill Nelson, the current administrator of NASA, back in 1986 when he was a congressman. But the handful of other civilians who have flown have always taken off as part of a crew made up of professional astronauts. Both Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson flew brief hops to suborbital space in July of this year without astronauts, but Inspiration4 is a much more ambitious orbital mission, the first with an entirely non-professional astronaut crew. Inspiration4 will be aloft for three days, flying at an altitude of 365 miles, higher than the Hubble Space Telescope flies. The crew will be aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft and will be launched atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The mission will be run out of SpaceX's own mission control in Hawthorne, California. Isaacman will be commanding the mission and will be joined by three other crew members chosen in three different ways. Haley Arsenault, 29, is a survivor of childhood cancer and a physician assistant at St. Jude. Isaacman knew from the start that he wanted a St. Jude employee to fly and the hospital suggested Arsenault. I definitely think that my journey with cancer prepared me for this. Having cancer made me tough, or at least I'd like to think that. And so um, I feel ready for space travel. Also aboard is Chris Sembrowski, a veteran of the Iraq War and currently an engineer at Lockheed Martin in Everett, Washington. He was selected by making a contribution to St. Jude and entering a lottery to win the seat. He actually lost the drawing, but the person who won it, who decided to pull out for personal reasons, is Sembrowski's best friend and recommended he take his place. Isaacman agreed. This moment of, oh, I'm, I'm going to space, you, you, you picked me. I mean, it was that moment of shock, uh, and now it's just all the emotion and excitement's coming out. Finally, there is Cyan Proctor, 51, a professor of geosciences at South Mountain Community College in Phoenix, Arizona, and a two-time astronaut candidate at NASA, though she was never selected. She won her seat on Inspiration4 in a contest in which Aspirins designed an online store using Shift4 payment software and then developed a social media campaign sharing her entrepreneurial and space visions. Instead of that no call, I got the yes. And it's that life-changing yes moment, um, something that I have wanted my entire life. And, and I'm so thankful and so happy to be here. The crew is currently in training up to 60 hours per week, spending their time in simulators and classrooms, as well as deep in briefing books and technical manuals. They have also spent time in centrifuges and altitude chambers, and even aboard Isaacman's own jet, which he used to get them accustomed to the G-forces they will experience on liftoff and re-entry. The crew is set to launch on September 15th and will be aloft for three days, running science experiments, communicating with Earth to promote the St. Jude cause and the mission of civilian space travel, and, not least of all, flying their Crew Dragon spacecraft. Mealtime will consist of pre-packaged space food, not always the most appetizing fare, and with no sleep pods like the space station has, the crew will bunk down in their assigned seats in the spacecraft. The days will be filled with the scheduled experiments and communications, and though the Dragon is an automated ship, it is sure to need some human intervention from time to time, 